Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sam here with CustomPCReview.com, and I'm here with Jason with uh, LSI, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about their new Synchro MX product. So why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about what's happening in this booth and what's so cool about this new product. All right. Thanks, Sam. So my name is Jason McGinley, product manager at LSI. So we have a new product line here, Synchro MX-B, and the MX is a particular product line at LSI that's focusing primarily on the data center. Uh, the Dash B is for the Rack Boot Appliance, which is the product we have running live here today. So I'd like to go ahead and show you guys the product. If we can just move over here. Oh, yep, I can take that. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. All right, so if we look at the product here, we have a 24-port version of the Rack Boot Appliance. We also have a 48-port version, which the demo is actually running on that you see up here. And it's actually a really simple solution, right? We went into the Mega Data Center and we, we tried to find a, a pain point that we could easily address for them. One big problem they wanted to solve was the high failure rate of their boot drives in the data center. So we developed a solution where we could bring enterprise level RAS to the data center with the idea that we can lower the CapEx and the OpEx costs for them as well. And this is the end result of that endeavor. So what we have here is kind of a static demo. This isn't the real live one but it shows your connection to a server. This is kind of a density optimized server from Dell. And we're directly connected to the chipset right there from a SATA cable coming out the back here to eSATA. And I can show you the rest of this cable right here. Breaks out into a buy four link so that we can bring four links into here. And really that was all about capacity and density, right? We wanted to service as many servers as we could with just one single box. Now that, it, that cable comes in, it talks to an FPGA, which is in SATA target mode, to a PLX bridge chip, and then our, our LSI SAS 2208 rock, which is then providing LSI RAID capability to these boot drives right here. So now what LSI does in synchro branding is all about sharing and scaling. So what we're doing here is we're carving up this drive and we're sharing it with all the servers that, that are connected to it. In the case of the 24 port, port version, you have a RAID 1, mirrored volume. In the 48 port version you have a RAID 10 volume. And then we can carve those up and provide 40 gigabytes of storage to each server connected, which is more than enough for customers in the data center that want to just use it for a boot drive and some journaling. And the RAID capability, what it does is give you the redundancy, right? When a boot drive fails, that's fine. You know what? Just go ahead and replace that. We actually have a management port which isn't being demoed, but we'll send alerts up to the network management system letting them know a drive has died. We also have redundant power supplies in here for the AC version in case one of those guys dies again a message goes up that can be replaced and and plus one fan configuration so you have redundant fans as well so the whole thing is fully redundant other than the board itself which still the failure rate there is minuscule so it's not a big deal we also have a DC version available so if a rack is being provided power directly from a PDU somewhere centralized and it's all DC power you can get rid of these power supplies we can bring DC straight into the board that removes a whole nother point of failure and it can be handled right there. Now we talked about CapEx a little bit, right? Our goal here is to get this product into customers' hands 10% less than the boot drives themselves. So if it's 24, multiply that by the cost of a boot drive and we're trying to come in under that. And 48, same thing. Power for the 48 port version is about 60% less. So if you, if you take six and a half watts per boot drive multiplied by 48, that's your total power being consumed in, in 48 boot drives. This, the 48 port version for us is about 125 watts, comes out to about 6% less. And the, this 24 port version that we're looking at, about 40% less. So you have some great savings there. And what's really cool though, and what I really like is what we've done is we've disaggregated the boot drive out of the server. So a lot of folks, when they go to the hardware refresh, right, they need another bigger processor, faster, more memory, they need to upgrade everything two, three years. One thing they get forced into upgrading that they don't want to do is the boot drive. It's still just a boot drive, right? Why buy another one? You don't have to when you go to this solution, right? Refresh the hardware you want to refresh. Don't refresh what you don't. Put this on a whole different cycle. Replace it after four or five years. Or just leave the box alone and replace the drives if that's your concern. So not only are you going to save CapEx costs up front, you're going to save it on the refresh cycle as well. We also have some really cool roadmap ideas for the product. Some things, for example, you know, if you're loading 24, 48 OS images to this, well, that's a lot of duplicate data, right? So what if you kind of just deduped all that data together and had one golden image? It'll let you use a smaller capacity drive, again, driving more costs out of the data center. 
then you could also use that. You could create a second boot volume there and update live while, you, while it's booting from the other one. And then when you wanted to flip over, just go ahead and power cycle, go to the other one. And then you've also built in N minus one. If for some reason that OS image you loaded is no good, just go back, roll back. It's already built in. So that's just one of the cool things we want to do with the product in the future. This one was really a, a product we wanted to get out there, get into customers' hands, let them tell us about it, give us some feedback, see how we can improve it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening uh, in the rest of the booth here? I know you guys got a lot of computers set up, and it uh, looks like it's doing a lot of stuff here. So Absolutely. So let's take a quick look. And we have in here the 48-port version of the Rack Boot appliance. So you can see it has the four hard drives in there. And inside of there, we have some density-optimized servers. So there's a total of seven sleds. There would be eight, but I pulled the eighth one out here so we could all look at it. And I also have three additional laptops connected there. It makes them real convenient to travel with and demo with. They have eSATA port right on them. So they're just booting o different OS images on them, right? So we have uh, RHEL over here, and they go into a KVM switch. And we should pop up an image of SUSE right there. We have uh, Windows 7 here. We have CentOS. And if I flip my presentation, we should have version of uh, Windows Server 2008 running. So it's just showing that it's totally transparent to, to the server itself. You can load whatever OS image just like you want, continue on. There's no additional drivers, software that need to go onto the surface. You just plug it in, you get 40 gigs of storage ready to go for a boot drive and, and some minor journaling. All right, excellent. So uh, is there any, um, any information on the pricing availability on this uh, new boot appliance here? So in terms of availability, um, this product will be available at the end of the month. Um, okay. Pricing, again, that's going to be on a per, per customer basis. But again, our goal is to come in under the price that they're going to pay today for those boot drives. So our goal is right about 10%. So I'll, I'll let folks do the math there, and that's about the spot it's going to come in at. All right, excellent. So. Uh, I'm going to let you get, get a little plug here, and you're going to tell me why someone will want to go with uh, LSI product. <laughs> I don't have a good plug, guys, but, you know, obviously we, we've been doing this stuff for a long time, right? And we're bringing our RAID technology now to the data center, and it's, it's proven, it's hardened, it's great stuff. And, you know, no longer does the data center have to be without, right? They don't have to suffer these failures. They can start bringing RAID technology in there at, at low cost. Okay, all right. Thank you, Jason. Right, and uh, yeah, for those of you guys who are still interested, be sure to check out our next video on uh, LSI AIs 2012. Is we've got a rack that has two servers in it. Each of them have a Synchro CS controller card. And both controllers are cabled redundantly into this very inexpensive JBOT enclosure. The JBOT is outfitted with 16 serial touch SCSI drives, and both servers, both controllers in each server, see all of the storage within the enclosure and see it as being shared.